Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Fullmoon Adventure Club and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Solium S600 security camera. They sent this to me for free to review and I've really taken my time with it, giving it about two or three months just to make sure that it was gonna hold up uh, under some rainy conditions and being outside and whether or not I really liked it overall in the long run. Um, really been enjoying it so far. Let's get into some of the pros and cons and I'll show you some footage and different things and how it operates. Now this is a 340 degree and 90 degree pilt, uh, pan tilt camera. So it'll go down 90 degrees and back up and it'll go 340 degrees in all directions. Basically it just doesn't turn right behind itself but it sees just about everything in front of it which is really, really cool. You can control all of that from your smartphone. So you, if you wanna shine it right here and then you wanna move it over here or if you hear something in the night and you just wanna look around uh, you can move it all from your smartphone and it just goes in increments anywhere you want it to go just by touching the screen on your phone, which is really, really cool. Now it's a 1080p as far as the video quality goes, so it has really good video, it looks great. Um, excellent night vision, I've been really impressed with what you can actually see at night um, using all of its infrared LEDs and all that stuff, the night vision capabilities. I'm very impressed. I've been catching raccoons and deer and all kinds of stuff outside my house at night just wandering around which is a lot of fun. And during the day it looks great. Um, you can set this up so that it will give you notifications when it detects movement. So if somebody's coming to your door it'll let you know on your smartphone. And you can also record that footage automatically to a 64 gig memory card that you put inside. Or you can pay for their cloud service where it uploads to the cloud. And you can also just get a notification on your phone and watch live, which is super duper fun. Um, it's been working really well for all of those things. It also has a feature where you can two-way communicate. So when you're live viewing your camera, it does have a microphone and a speaker on it. You can hear what's going on outside and you can also talk and it will project your voice outside at the camera. Now the voice projection is quite loud and works very well. The microphone, or listening to someone say talking to you, I would say your camera needs to be positioned by the front door facing whoever's talking within a few feet. And then it's okay. If it's more than five feet away and maybe you have it behind that person, it's kind of hard to hear them. So the microphone isn't super sensitive, but if you're putting it right by your door as like a security door cam, then you would be able to hear the person talk and you'd be able to talk back to them, which is also pretty darn cool. Um, it does have a motion sensor light, so bright LEDs that turn on when it detects motion, or you can turn them on yourself manually while you're live viewing the cam. You can also turn this feature off and just have the camera turn on with just night vision, which works incredible. But if you want to be able to turn on the light or use it like a motion sensor light, so when you get home from work and you're walking up the steps, it'll automatically turn on and illuminate the steps for you, which is a really cool feature too, that you can turn that on and off. Um, why don't we get into some of the footage from this guy so we can just kind of see what it looks like and what it's all about. Uh, take my word for it, it looks great on my smartphone. I'm not sure how it'll transfer over to this because I screen captured it and then uploaded it here and then put it onto this program and then rendered it and then uploaded it to YouTube. But it is very clear on my phone. We'll see how that transfers over and we'll see what kind of weird critters I was able to capture in the middle of the night. So let's check that out. All right, real quick, just so we can kind of see what everything looks like coming out of the box here. You can see you open it up and you have this nice big solar panel right there that gives more than enough power. You have your manual as well. Inside the back of the solar panel is your casing where you can have three or six batteries. It does come with three and that's all I've used and it's worked out just fine. You have a little charging port there so you can charge it up uh, for the first time without having to use solar. You have mounting hardware, you have your little charge cable, and then you're going to have the camera itself. And the camera itself, you just uh, you can adjust your antennas for maximum range to your Wi-Fi and the solar panel connects to the top and that's pretty much the entire setup right there. As far as how I hooked mine up, usually you have the solar panel connected directly to the top, but I put mine underneath the eave and then moved my solar panel out so that I make sure I get plenty of sun and the camera was where I wanted it. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see I got a notification. I can see two, uh, two doe out in my yard eating the scrub oak, two deer, and uh, just munching away out there, so that was kind of neat. And this is just a look at the night vision at my front door and playing with the camera, moving it around a little bit. The night vision looks really good um, and really crisp. So I really enjoy playing with that and you can kind of move it around and just look anywhere that you want to look, uh, which is very, very cool. 
Now we're going to switch over to some daytime shots so you can see what it looks like in the daytime. And uh, that looks really, really crisp as well, all in 1080p. So this is just during the day and this is a good time to show off. It has a zoom feature, which is a digital zoom. So you can double tap an area and it will zoom in once and you double tap again and it will zoom in twice. And you can see my dog Storm there. And then you can kind of move it up within the digital zoom just by dragging your finger. Um, it might not be crystal clear at this zoom, but uh, that's still a pretty cool feature to have really. So I've been enjoying that. And I'm also gonna pan the camera around for you just so you can kind of see what it's like to uh, move it around during the daylight and get a good look at everything. You can see it has a really wide angle shot just anywhere that you put it. Um, but then being able to also move that from my door, I can swivel that all the way around to the other side to where I can see the entire porch um, and stuff like that. So that's very, very cool as well. And you can kind of tap it multiple times and move it a little faster. But you can see it's just a lot of fun to be able to look around your entire yard and check stuff out. Um, and then we're gonna be switching uh, back over to a story that I did where I looked under my house because I heard scratching and I saw these three raccoon brothers under here and I had to get them out before I sealed the house up. So uh, lo and behold, I got a notification and I saw one big fat raccoon coming out. And as soon as I see his two brothers join him, I know that I can go outside and seal the uh, exit, the hole in the, underneath the house that they were using. And I knew there wouldn't be a single one left inside. So I wasn't gonna trap one uh, underneath the house. So that, that came in really handy, just being able to see all three of them going on their midnight rounds. And I went out there and sealed up both the holes and now I don't have raccoons under my house anymore, which is great. Um, so you can see there go the two there and there's his third, the third brother kind of crawling underneath the steps right there. And once I had confirmation that all three of them were out and about, problem solved. So that's kind of neat. Um, now we're going to jump over to using the spotlight feature, uh, which will, as soon as it turns on, you can turn that on uh, by touching your phone and then boom, you're going to have this bright spotlight turn on and you can see really well and kind of scan around with the spotlight, which looks pretty cool at night. And um, even though it may look a little fuzzy there during the movement, as soon as the camera gets steady anywhere, it focuses to a really clear picture, uh, which I definitely enjoy. Now I'm gonna also be doing a test where I walk up to the door and the audio is a little off, but that could be because, um, there you can go switching to night vision there, uh, looks really good. But the audio is a little off because I was screen recording to my phone, that might have definitely had something to do with it. But still, this will give you a good indication of how the microphone sounds, so let's jump right to that test right now. So there you go, there's me walking straight up, knocking on the door. If I'm facing the camera, I think the microphone picks up fairly well. Um, if I were to turn around and I'm talking to the door, not knowing where the voice is coming from, uh, it doesn't work quite as well. But if it was positioned over here, then you'd be able to hear everybody just fine. So there's a little test of how quickly it turned on and how the microphone records. So that was kind of neat seeing all the critters around and stuff at night. Um, it does do really well during the day as well, um, capturing you know the UPS guy coming and stuff like that. So I've been very impressed with the video and it's also very handy if I'm uh, in the basement or working on something and the dog barks and I just want to take a look around to see if there is somebody out in the yard or especially at night, you know, if it goes off, you can actually look all around your yard and see what's going on from the comfort of your own bed, which I've been having a lot of fun playing with. Now, in a way you could almost use this like a game trap camera for like capturing animals in remote locations because it's gonna run off the solar panel and batteries and it's gonna record everything to that 64 gig SD card. Now the way that works is it's gonna keep recording all that footage until the SD card gets full and then as it takes a new video, it's gonna delete the oldest video and just 
keep going on a loop. So if you left that somewhere for 24, 48 hours, uh, whatever it was, and then came back and, and picked it up, it would show you every time that it turned on and captured some video right from the SD camera without Wi-Fi or any wires or anything else. So that's kind of cool all by itself if you wanted to use it for something like that. Now, as far as RV applications, would I recommend this to an RV user? Yes and no, um, I wouldn't drive with it. Now it has the IP65 waterproof rating, which is good for like spraying with water and dust and stuff. So it does have some waterproofing, but it does have moving parts as well. So it can't be completely waterproof. And if you have it on the side of your RV doing 75 in a rainstorm, I don't know if it holds up to that. They also recommend that the solar panel stays on top because that kind of gives it a little roof. So water is not just constantly pouring all over the moving parts. Uh, so it gives it a little roof and that would of course catch a lot of wind doing 75 on an RV. So you, I'd recommend taking it off and setting it up when you get somewhere to stay for a few days or weeks. You could do a quick clip where you just open the door and stick it on there. And as long as you have a router in your RV, you'll be able to check your phone and record the footage or whatever. So that's pretty cool. It would definitely work for RV applications. I just think you would have to take it off before you drive down the road. Um, but a lot of cameras are kind of like that. Um, unless it's completely 100% waterproof, um, you're probably gonna wanna take that down before you move to your next campsite. So I'll let you decide on that, but I've been absolutely having a ton of fun with it. I'm gonna move it from my porch over to where we just installed our chicken coop because I wanna be able to monitor if there are any animals trying to get at the chickens at night and stuff like that. And I can just move it and screw it in wherever I want over there to a tree, whatever and it's gonna be just fine. It's gonna be completely powered by the sun and I'm gonna be able to check it from my Wi-Fi because it easily reaches out by the chicken coop. And so I think that makes it a really cool, versatile camera. I will put the link on Amazon down below if you wanna check it out. The spotlight is bright, the range of motion is great. Um, I would like to see a notification timer Say you only wanna get notifications at night or only wanna get notifications in the day, but not vice versa. That would be a really handy feature and I'd like to see them upgrade that in the software on their phone, which I think would be a really easy fix. But otherwise, during the day, I'm in and out of my door 20 times and my phone's just going nuts. It's getting, I'm getting an activity notice every time I step out the door. Um, but at night, I definitely want it on because if there's somebody on my property and I don't want to know about it and also the animals that are getting into whatever. So I would like that feature, not just on and off, but maybe set a timed schedule for uh, notifications would be nice. You can also share this with multiple people. So you can, you can share control throughout your family. Um, I gave the password to my girlfriend and she can actually turn on the camera or get notifications from work which I think will be cool when we have the chicken coop set up because she's obsessed with chickens right now and really likes them and doesn't want them to get eaten, which sometimes happens out here in the boonies. So um, she'll be able to take a quick look or get a notification and so will I, which I think is pretty cool that you can share it between family members. I think as many as you want. I'm not sure on that, maybe up to eight or something, but that's a cool feature as well and I've absolutely been loving it. I will put the link down in the description below for Amazon for you if you want to check out the price and pick one up. Um, I've really enjoyed it. So thanks very much Solium. I've had a lot of fun using it and um, fix that notification timer thing. I'd really like to see that but otherwise a great camera, low price, put it anywhere. I think that's pretty cool. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and until the next video thank you so much for watching and happy camping.